we're going to go with the normal ceilings. We was going to put these panels, these panels in at the time. These ones, this is what I wanted to have in the um, for these bathrooms. And the main reason for that is I have to have a fan in here. And the thing is, I needed. I thought I had to have an inline fan because I didn't have much room. Okay. So I needed access to that in the future because you know if it ever packs up or something, I need to clean it. I need to get it out. But I found these fans that go off on a right angle and from the top to the bottom is about 200 mils. Okay, so these beams here, these are 150. So I just need to you know, add another 200, uh, yeah, so I don't know, 70, 80 mil down, have the ceiling about 70, 80 mil down. It's enough for the fan to sit. I can always get access to that fan in the future. So there's no real reason why I have to have these panel ceilings because he advised against it, especially in the disabled shower. He said, this bathroom's all right, but any time's a shower, it sucks up the moisture and it just ruins it after a year or so. So I don't want to be replacing stuff again. So he suggested, look, mate, if you don't need it, just let's put the normal ceiling, put it slightly lower so we'll fit that new fan in. And that's uh, all cool. So once he's done, then we can get the electrician in. Uh, yeah, well, the, mainly uh, they get the painter in to get him finished because once he's done all the walls and everything, we can put our toilets in and hot water systems and everything and then we can get the ball rolling. So, um, there'll just be a standard ceiling in here as well. Here's the uh, sort of that laundry section. So, they've just got a standard ceiling in here as well. Um, and that's where the trough's going. So, I started to try and sweep it up with the brush, with the, with the broom, sorry, but the dust just, it just, you know, gets it up in the air too, too much. So, what I want to do is try to get everything off the, off the floor where I can and I'll just use a jetter just to wash it all down and then at least I won't have the dust problem or anything like that. A bitumen coating, I've, I've, you know, you can see underneath how I've done, it looks like I've missed a, missed a few bits, but I'm just waiting. We haven't had a good downpour yet, so I'm just waiting for that to see how we're going with that. See up, upstairs here. So all the wires and everything are in. So just, I'm just gonna see if there's any, any leaks when it, when it does rain. So anyway, it's looking all good. Anyway, I am going to get the jetter out and start washing it all down and um, might do a time lapse of that. It's always just satisfying to watch it all wash out the door. Uh, it's a good feeling when it's all nice and clean, you know, because usually when the kids come visit, because it's been so dusty, a lot of dusty trades, they'd uh, jump back in the car and you'd see these little, you know, dusty footprints over the mats and on the seats if they were climbing over it. But um, yeah, it's come up really good again. So it's nice to be fresh again. All nice and clean, smells good. This is uh, Jason's car. He's um, from Titan, Titan Maintenance Services. He's putting the doors in and stuff today and doing some bits of the ceiling. So um, yeah, it's looking all great now. So all nice and clean. These are the, the, the glass doors that we're sticking in. He's always complaining about he's have to cut the doors off or something. Hey? You're always complaining about cutting the doors down or something? Yeah. <laughs> These hinges have to be taken off just in case, uh, you know, we pass out in here. And the door's already on. Looking good. One of them is anyway. So, it's a bit out of level at the top here, but the frames, the frames, you know, when they weld on, it's not perfect. So, he's going to adjust it up and make it look all right. So, not much else we can do. Alright guys, uh, catch you later, see you on the next one.